Uh, Shock Monkey Radio is created by adults for adults for entertainment purposes. The views and opinions expressed here do not reflect the sponsors or FXPG Public Radio. For additional information, refer to the U.S. Bill of Rights. Stand warned. All right, so in keeping with uh, the scary theme, the, um, the Halloween theme, stuff that scares me, like aliens and people who believe in magic, <clears throat> I, I, I went through the trouble of making a list of things that scare me, you know, like genuinely cause fear in me. And so it's just so if I have any enemies out there, you know how to take me down. All right, so here's a list of things that, you know, I didn't number them. I really should have, but I didn't number them. All right, here's the first one in no particular order, okay? No particular order. I'm not going to rank them. You're going to have to figure out what scares me the most. That's that's on you. All right, so heights. I'm uh, Generally, I'm okay at heights if there's uh, like an enclosure. Like if I'm uh, 20 stories up in a skyscraper or something like that, I'm okay. Because I can still feel like I'm, I'm, I'm on ground level. There's still the illusion of ground level. All right, and so that's okay. But if I go near like a, a, even if I go near a window and look down, I'm okay. I'm fine. If I go to the top of the Eiffel Tower over at King's Dominion here in Virginia, is it still called King's Dominion? It, yeah. Okay. It got it got bought by Paramount or something. Anyway, long story short. I'd go up to the top of that, and it's all, like, barred in like it's a, a cage, like a, a prison in the air. And so um, I'm, I'm even, even okay on, in places like that. But if, if, if I'm, like, looking over the side, and, and it's just, like, one little shove, one gust of wind, <laughs> and I'm unintentionally falling to my death, that is terrifying to me. And when I see these videos on YouTube of these parkour guys that go, like, like 40 stories up, and they're jumping across buildings like some sort of insane Batman person, all right? Because, I mean, that would be the story. That would, that, that, that's the way Bruce Wayne's life would end. <laughs> like he would miss a jump on like his third week of being Batman, and that'd be it. And it's like, philanthropist Bruce, Bruce Wayne found dead in a Batman costume <laughs> with a broken bat line, okay? But those parkour videos of people jumping across buildings up there, the, ugh. That's terrifying to me. Uh, ironically, if I ever decided to jump off a building intentionally, that doesn't frighten me at all. That sounds like fun. Isn't that weird? But if I, unintentionally falling is what scares me. Isn't that weird? Huh. Anyway, um, the next thing I'm scared of is women I'm attracted to. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of guys out there that can sympathize with me on this. And women that I'm attracted to scare me because I know they could get me to do anything. <laughs> and sometimes that's not a good thing. You know, so, you know, she says, you know, quit smoking. Uh, anything to have sex with you. <laughs> I'll quit it all. All right. I'll, I'll quit it all. I'll start voting Democrat <laughs> for some poontang. <laughs> anyway, and so that's uh, that's another thing. That's so that's. That's what scares me is that I know how malleable I am in, in, in the arms of a beautiful woman, you know, and I, I consider that a weakness in myself and I hate myself for it and so forth. And I'd rather go through my life pretending I'm an incel just to infiltrate their community and then uh, deal with all the crazy, you know, because there's a lot of crazy involved in any relationship, even friendships, you know, there are friendships that I've had. And I'm just like, I need to walk away from all this crazy because there's so much crazy in this, this friendship I have. He's, he's not even paying attention to me. <laughs> but that's the point is like, when it comes to women that I'm attracted to, that's scary to me because I know I could start compromising my values just to get that sweet, sweet punani, you know? And that, it's a, it is a weakness in myself. It's a fault in myself, you know, to know that, you know, I think I've been pretty good lately about standing my ground when it comes to women because, uh, it's it's funny. It's like when I <clears throat> when I kind of realized it's like oh I yeah I'm probably definitely dying alone. Uh, when when I came to that realization, that's when I just stopped giving a fuck when it came to women, and that's when I started like uh, telling women, even pretty women, what I think <laughs> about what they're saying or what they're, what they're doing or something like that, and and I ended up like disliking some very very hard, <laughs> very severely ended up disliking them. And those are the girls who like started becoming interested in me. And I'm just like, I'll, I'll never understand women. And so that's why it's something 
that I'm afraid of, as women that I'm attracted to. Um, another thing I'm attracted uh, attracted to. <laughs> it's kind of a different different uh, different side of the same coin, huh? Attraction and fear. Anyway, so another thing that I fear is being surprised by spiders. All right, if I see there's a spider on the web outside the studio here. All right, and I like to go up there and, I, and I'll blow smoke at him. It's like, hey, stupid spider, you don't know what's happening. <laughs> I blow, some, yeah, you know, bully a spider basically just to make myself feel better. And so, um, but if if I'm sitting there and I'm playing a video game, because it's always when I'm playing a video game, right? And I'm just I'm in the zone in the video game or something like that, and a spider comes down off the ceiling, lands on your face. Whoo! I I mean, it could be the smallest spider, and the spider outside the studio is pretty damn big. All right, and so I mean, I'm I'm <laughs> I don't I don't punch down. <laughs> But if a little tiny spider comes off the ceiling onto your face and you weren't expecting it, I will I will start acting like a little like a seven year old girl, you know, just throw my curds and way at it. Anyway, so spiders is another being surprised surprised by spiders is scary to me. Uh, another thing I fear is success. Um, the idea that maybe like I get PewDiePie's numbers on my YouTube or something like that that scares the ever loving shit out of me. And uh, if you read any kind of news story about somebody like PewDiePie, you would realize why that would scare the shit out of anybody or why it should scare the shit out of anybody. Because under, all of a sudden, you're under scrutiny of the entire world. When you get like 100 million subscribers, you're under the scrutiny of the entire world. You know, I got, what, 77 subscribers on my YouTube? A um, couple thousand podsa- podcast, podcast subscribers? You know, I'm okay. I'm okay. So if if <laughs> if all of a sudden overnight I start getting 300,000 uh, comments on my videos and views on my videos and everyone has something to say about my insane ass, and it's like, that's scary. It could be hurtful. It could hurt my feelings. <laughs> I dare you. <ya. laughs> uh, okay, so success, another thing I'm afraid of. Uh, afraid of. <clears throat> Um, another thing I'm afraid of is being alone in a place full of strangers. If my friend says, hey, I got this party. Let's go over here and let's go to this party. I'm like, uh, who is this? Whose party? I don't, I don't know that guy. I, I, don't, I, probably, I won't know anybody there. And you, you go with your friend and he's like, you go to the party. You have some drinks and stuff like that. I'm, I'm right next to my friend the entire time. He's like, I don't know any of you motherfuckers. You know, I, I'm that socially awkward. You know, and so my friend's like, hey, man, we're going to go ride in the car and have a smoke, you know. You want, uh, you, you gonna chill here? He's like, yeah, you know, I, I don't do that. So I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna chill here with a bunch of strangers. No, put me in the car. I don't care if I get hot boxed. I don't want, I don't like strangers. <laughs> Another thing I'm afraid of is horses. I'm sure you've heard me mention this many, many times before. Horses are the spawn of the devil and they are 100% evil. And we pin, we box them in, in these little, in these, these flimsy fences flimsy fences and and they we have little girls we have little girls training them to jump over fences all the time and the horses don't jump over the fences they stay and let little girls ride them what the hell are they up to horses terrifying another thing that scares me is deep water or the ocean specifically the ocean and they're like wait a minute madman didn't you join the navy yes I was also very scared of spiders when I was uh, quite young, a lot younger, like sh- spiders all the time, scared of spiders in, in any situation. Now, now I bully them to make myself feel, yeah, I'm a big tough guy now. And so, um, and so I kind of like forced myself to expose myself to spiders more, like try to pick them up, and stuff like that, just to force myself into exposure. And I thought maybe the Navy would help uh, make me less afraid of drowning to death in the ocean or be pro- more, more likely be eaten by sharks or something or swallowed by a whale. Oh, my God. I would rather be eaten by shark, sharks than be, be, have God pull a Jonah on me. All right? <laughs> Being slowly digested by a plankton eater. Anyway, so the ocean is terrifying to me, and the idea of, like, getting blown off the aircraft carrier or something like that scares the ever loved shit out of me. And I was lucky. I didn't go out to sea a whole lot. And even, uh, even if I did go out to sea, I mean, I, there was a ton of ships around me that would have been able to help me. So it's like, I doubt I would have been lost at sea and it happens. All right. 
it happens. Like it, I think of like one or two sailors like every year fall overboard, fall overboard, never heard from again. They miss muster the next morning, and they're like, whoa. Then they'll do a search. They'll send out choppers and stuff like that. They'll start looking, but odds are by the muster the next morning, <sighs> no way. And that's a terrifying thought to me. And I don't think that's, it's that irrational because I looked up the fear of the ocean, it's thalassophobia. And I don't think that I have it because I don't think it's an irrational fear of being eaten by sharks or more or worse drowning. <laughs> I don't think that's irrational. Um, another thing that scares me is a solar flare that wipes out every hard drive on earth and we all have to start over. All right. None of us have our resume on file anymore. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like we all we all have to go buy new hard drives and we all got to start typing in our resumes again. <laughs> we got to we got to download the software from work. We got we got to get this uh we got to set up <laughs> our uh what are our mail filters again. Oh, doesn't that sound tedious? Doesn't doesn't that sound like a tedious nightmare? I think that when I had that dream about a world like that, I think that was my uh my math side of my brain was it the left side of your brain. <laughs> math side of my brain having that dream. Um, and is it the, yeah, and this is the last thing I have for the things that scare me, and I think it's kind of an important one. And one thing, that, uh, one last thing that scares me is a second civil war in the United States. And the simple fact of the matter is that I am not interested in digging all the holes and burying all you soy boys and angry liberal sluts. I'm not interested in doing that. Because once you take your crazy rioting bullshit out of this past the city lines and you start interacting or fighting with people who eat meat and know what an AR-15 is, all right, so many of you are going to die. You're going to die of exposure in the summer, okay, because you're not eating properly. <laughs> all right, and that's what we're talking about. We're talking about a bunch, a bunch of vegetarian liberal white kids starting up all this nonsense, all right? And those are the people who want to start a war. You know, you, want, you may want to say that, like, Black Lives Matter wants a war. And it's like, no, I really don't think that they want a war. All right? It's the, the militant ones are a bunch of rich, vegan, asshole, liberal kids. That's all. And so a second civil war scares the shit out of me because, it's, I mean, you've seen it. You've seen some of these, quote, unquote, protests, which are really rioters. They're going past the city lines, going across bridges and into the suburbs. And the suburbs ain't having it. All right. It's not going to turn out as well as you think it is. It's all very fun to go LARP in the streets in Minneapolis or Philly. That's all fun and games in a liberal city run by liberal people. Come out in the county. We'll show you how the county rolls. All right. <laughs> we got tons of assault rifles. You're fucked. You're fucked if you try to start a war with anything that isn't a city. Do you understand what I'm talking about? You don't want city states. You don't want this turning into the world from the Hunger Games because that's what the Hunger Games society is. That's a society run by Democrats. <laughs> all the cities have all the wealth and power <laughs> and the people in the country, they got to fend for them fucking selves. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> 